learning chapter 7 going into space. In this chapter we are going to learn about our Milky Way galaxy, constellations, comets, meteors, asteroids and gravity. Here's a warm up for you. We all love to pretend that we are astronauts zooming into space in our rockets. But do you know about the celestial bodies that we come across in our journey into space? What is the universe? Universe is everything that surrounds us. We are all part of the universe and universe includes both living and non-living things. Our planet Earth, all the other planets, the stars and galaxies, everything are all part of the universe. Even time, matter and space are a part of the universe. In other words, the universe is everything that we can see, sense, detect, measure, touch and feel. We do not know the exact size of the universe because we cannot see any edge or boundary of the universe. The visible universe is at least 93 billion light years away. A light year is the distance light travels in one year, which is almost equal to 9 trillion kilometers. Scientists believe that the universe began with a big bang, which took place nearly 14 billion years ago. They believe that the universe started by a bang and it is called as the Big Bang Theory. This sudden explosion was followed by rapid expansion. Here's a tidbit for you. The universe is so huge, it would take jet fighter plane more than a million years to reach the star nearest to the sun. Traveling at the speed of light that is 3 million kilometers per second. It would take 1 million years to cross our Milky Way galaxy. Time, matter, space all began with the Big Bang. Over millions of years, as the universe expanded, it also cooled down. Some matter cooled down to become planets, while others are still blazing hot stars. The universe contains billions of stars. In fact, scientists believe that there are as many stars in the universe as there are grains of sand along the beach and desert on Earth. A big group or clusters of stars is called a galaxy. There are thousands of galaxies in the universe which come in many shapes and sizes. Did you know that we can see four galaxies with our naked eye? Apart from the Milky Way galaxy, we can also see the Andromeda galaxy which is our nearest galaxy and the Magellanic clouds which are actually two dwarf galaxies. Our solar system is in the Milky Way galaxy, which is in spiral shape. It is made up of about 200 billion stars and is 2.5 million light years across. All the stars that we see in the night sky are in our galaxy. Our galaxy was named the Milky Way galaxy because it appears as a milky band of light in the sky. During the late summer and on a very dark and clear night sky, we can see a part of the Milky Way. A constellation is a group of stars that forms imaginary outlines or meaningful patterns like animals, mythological people, gods or creatures or even manufactured devices. There are about 88 constellations that we can see in the night skies. Some of the famous constellations are Orion. It is one of the most visible constellations. Because of its location, we can see it throughout the world. Orion is named after a hunter from Greek mythology. Ursa Major. It is visible in the northern hemisphere. It means larger bear in Latin. Ursa Major has a pattern of seven stars in it. It is called the Big Dipper. It is a very useful pattern of stars as we can use it to find the north. Ursa Minor. This means smaller bear in Latin. It is located near Ursa Major. It has the pattern of a small ladle called the Little Dipper. 
Users of constellations, they help people recognize the stars in the sky. By looking for patterns, the stars and locations are easy to spot. In ancient times, they were used by people to keep in track of the calendar. They help people to know when to plant and harvest crops. By finding the Ursa Minor, it was easy to spot the North Star or Polaris to know which direction to take in the dark. Here's a science top up for you. The zodiac constellations are constellations that are located within a band. This band is special because it is the band where the sun, the moon and the planets all move. There are 13 zodiac constellations. In the ancient times, 12 of these were used as signs for the zodiac calendar and astrology. We have already learnt about the celestial bodies in our galaxy. They are the sun, the planets and their satellites. However, there are other celestial objects in our universe. They are asteroids. An asteroid is a huge piece of metal and rock that goes around the sun. It is believed that the asteroids are broken pieces of a planet. They vary in sizes from few meters in diameter to some hundred kilometers. They are not round or spherical in shape but lumpy and shapeless. They tumble and spin as they go around the sun. Asteroids are found in a ring called the asteroid belt. This asteroid belt lies between the planets Mars and Jupiter. Comets Comets are lumps of ice, dust and rocket that go around the sun. Comets are often called the dirty snowballs of the solar system. As a comet nears the sun, its ice heats up and turns into gases and plasma. These gases form a large glowing head around the comet called a coma. As the comet speeds through space, the gases will trail behind the comet forming a tail. Because of their coma and tail, comets appear fuzzy as they near the sun. This allows astronomers to determine other objects from comets very easily. We can see comets with our naked eye as they pass by Earth. Meteorite, meteor, meteorite. Meteorite is a piece of metal or rock that was once part of an asteroid or a comet. When asteroids collide, they can break into small pieces forming meteorites. Similarly, broken pieces of comets may also become meteorites. Meteors. They are those meteorites that get pulled into the Earth's atmosphere by its gravity. When the meteors enter our atmosphere, they heat up and burn with a bright streak of light. Hence, they are also called falling or shooting stars. If many meteors fall through our atmosphere at the same place and at the same time, it appears as if many stars are falling through the night sky. This occurrence is called a meteor shower. Generally, the meteors burn up in the atmosphere itself. Those meteors that do not burn and make it to the ground are called as meteorites. Gravity Gravity is the force or pull by the earth. That force makes everything fall towards the earth. Every object has its gravity. How much gravity an object has depends upon the size of the object and how close you are to the object. The bigger the object and closer you are, the stronger the gravity. Let's explore, use an encyclopedia to find out about the different and famous comets. Discuss your findings in class. Let us think, what is gravity? How does it work and why is it so important? Gravity is the force of attraction or pull that one object exerts on another. Scientist Sir Isaac Newton found out about gravity when an apple fell on his head. This means something pulls things towards the earth. 
This pull is called as gravity. When we go into outer space, the gravity decreases due to distance. That is why we see astronauts floating in their spaceships. Just think of how many ways gravity helps us in our lives. Here's a glossary of the chapter. Grains of sand. Each and every particle of sand is called a grain of sand. Northern Hemisphere. Draw a line in the middle of the earth. The upper half of the sphere is called as the northern hemisphere. Exert to apply force or pressure. Mythology, a collection of stories from our epics. Here's a mind map for you. The universe started by a big bang and consists of several galaxies. The galaxies are made up of stars and a group of stars is called a constellation. The galaxy is also made up of planets, satellites, asteroids and comets. Meteorite is a piece of rock or metal that was once part of a comet. Meteors, they are meteorites that get pulled into the Earth's atmosphere. The meteors that do not burn and make it to the ground are called as meteorites.